Hello everyone. Last video we are discussing about some universal truth and we are discussing the uh, comparison between the displacement and the distance. In this video we will discuss whether displacement can be zero. That is the first question. Second question whether distance can be zero for some particular journey I am, I am considering. Now this journey as we know O is the initial position and A, B, C are the different position for the different instance. Now again first question we will discuss whether displacement can be zero, whether it is possible. Yes, it may be possible. See, again we will consider one journey. Object has travelled from O to A and back to O. What is the magnitude of displacement for this journey? As we know, distance is a scalar quantity. There, about directions, we are not bothered. But for the displacement, we have to consider the directions. We have to follow some sign convention. So, what sign convention we are following? If object is moving towards the right side, it is positive. We have to take the magnitude as a positive. And if it is moving towards the left hand side, we have to take it as a negative. We have to assign these signs to the magnitude values. Now object is traveling from O to A. O to A means it is moving towards right hand side. So that distance with positive sign we have taken. Here we have written positive 60 for O A. And now once it travels from A to O, it, with respect to A, if I take it, with respect to A, this journey A to O, it is towards the left hand side. So, I need to give that distance as a negative sign. So, O to A, it is positive 60 and A to O, it is negative 60. If I add them, what answer will come? Displacement will be the zero value. So, it is possible that displacement, it is zero. But what about the distance? The distance corresponding to this displacement, if I take, whether it will be zero, whether it will be zero, no. Why? Because for distance, we are not considering the directions. We are bothered just about the path length. O to A, what is the path length? 60. A to O, what is the path length? 60. So, 60 plus 60, it is 120. So, here, this value or this distance is a non-zero value. Distance value for this particular journey, if I consider, it can be it never be zero. So, displacement, it is zero, but distance corresponding to this displacement is not zero. So, what same thing I am seeing, saying here. So, distance D corresponding to the, this displacement O to A and A to O journey, what we have considered for this distance is a non-zero value or it is not equal to zero. Displacement, it is zero. So, these are the three universal truths we have to remember. Displacement, it is less than or equal to the distance. Displacement, it is possible. It may be possible that it is zero. But distance, it is always a non-zero quantity. Right. Thank you.